Hi. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Today, we gotta just dive right into it because the teaser trailer finally for Chucky season three has been released. It's been released for a while, but I'm just now getting around to it. I haven't watched it yet. So this is gonna be our first reactions. We're gonna try to see if we can have some predictions, some theories that I can kind of conjure up per this trailer. So I think it's best to just go ahead and get right to it. If you wanna check out the Patreon, a link for that will be in the description below. It really helps me out and thank you to everyone who has checked it out. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and see what we have in store for this season of Chucky. Daddy, he wants to go to work with you today. Okay. He wants to see the Oval Office. Yes. No! <laughs> Chucky wants to see. Oh my gosh. First, sorry. Y'all know, if you don't, I love Devin Sawa. He actually signed that good guy cereal box thing. I love Devin Sawa. I love him. Is he the president in this? <laughs> I was hoping that they were gonna keep bringing him back. Oh my gosh, I'm so, ah! oh my gosh, I love him. Okay, let's keep watching. See, this doll design is so good. Evening, Mr. President. Did you ever find the letter opener? I did not. They also managed to lose track of Henry's doll somehow. Oh my gosh, not president. That that's what it looks like that? Yeah, it's gonna come to life. Oh my gosh. Nar. God bless America. <laughs> I can't stand him. I really can't. Okay, there was another one. I'm gonna check this one out too. The sneak peek. I'm gonna check this out. And now we take you to Hackensack, New Jersey for a special announcement. Who made this podium so fucking tall? <laughs> <laughs> Season three of my show, Chucky, will return on October 4th. And I will not October 4th. every single one of you fuckers watch it. Now uh, ask Jesus! What is this season about? All I'll say is, DC is gonna get chucked up. <laughs> Which what? Says, will Devin Sawa be returning as a new character? <laughs> Jennifer Tilda, will she be back? Yes, you know, she always comes back. Really, right? Yes! What's your response to critics that say there have been way too many doll movies recently? I'd oh. say this is not a movie. I already did seven True. movies. This is a TV show. Oh, I'm sorry, Chucky. What I didn't mean to kind you. of a shitty question is that? <laughs> Reporter pisses off Chucky. <laughs> okay, October 4th. Woo! Let's go! Okay. I was curious if they were gonna bring back Devin Sawa because I guess it's very well known. The public loves Devin Sawa in the Chucky franchise. So iconic. I don't know if I've mentioned before, but the Chucky franchise, Scream, and Final Destination. Those are like my three, my top three favorite horror movie franchises. So the fact that there's kind of a crossover already with Devin Sawa being in both Final Destination and Chucky, it's just like I can sleep peacefully at night, you know? I'm so, 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 so excited for this one. So I need to refresh basically everything that happened in the last season because it was so chaotic. So I'll link my playlist down below so you can go ahead, check that out and get refreshed and remember everything that happens. But until then, some theories that I have, I mean, we ended on a cliffhanger with Tiffany getting a call from Nika saying that she, Nika was like, I'm gonna get you. And we left on a very, very big cliffhanger of 
fuck, what's her name? Lexi. Uh, okay. Of Lexi, Lexi's little sister basically being in cahoots with Tiffany. I really hope that they explain that because I don't understand how they can just throw something like that in our faces and just not explain it at all. So I'm crossing my fingers. So I guess I'll just say my hopes for the next season is, I don't know. We've already done some crazy things with Nika getting all of her limbs chopped off. So all hope is kind of lost for poor Nika. I kind of hope that they bring back the, well, they kind of, wrote off the doll, the Glenn slash Glenda doll. They kind of wrote them off and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna go to Europe, bye. So they kind of left. I don't really know what's going on with them. I don't think they're gonna come back for this one. It seems that this one is gonna be mainly presidential. I don't understand how we're going to do so, but nevertheless, we're gonna find a way to do so because I don't understand what that kind of has to do with the children. How are they going to be incorporated in this presidential election? It's maybe not election. This, just this presidential setting, I guess, or this like Congress setting. I don't understand how they're going to write the kids into this, you know, with Lexi and Devin and Jake. And I really don't think that they're going to bring back, unfortunately, Andy and Kyle. I don't think they're going to bring them back because... I mean, they might, they might bring them back, but I really freaking doubt it. Or it would be towards the very end of the season because they kind of wrote them off and they did this whole like nostalgic thing of them doing like a flashback in the penultimate episode of season two. So I'm not sure if they would come back. I, don't, I have no idea. It might be just like a surprise if they come back or not. Who knows? You know, I'll be really excited when that happens. Tiffany, no doubt in my mind, she's gonna be in this series forever until it dies and then some. So of course she's gonna come back. I can't believe they like asked that. Like, is Joe for Julie gonna come back? What do you mean is she gonna come back? She's like the second main character in my opinion. It's Chucky and then her. They're like the two mainest, main, main characters. I just don't understand what her plan is with Lexi's little sister or in general, it looks like she's like running away, obviously from Nika because Nika's like, I'm going to find you and kill you. So I would be running away as well. Who knows? There's a lot that could happen. There's a lot going on. It's really hard to go off of this. So when more trailers come out, best believe I will be watching and reacting to them so we can get a little bit of a better idea and a final theory and a finalized version of my theories and predictions right before because I really like seeing if anything that I say ever comes true when I watch back on the series. With that said and done, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons and especially Gabe Up, AJ, Mark Sylvester, Jeff Griffin, James Cox, Keith Harvey, and Jeremy Montañez. Thank you so much and make sure to go ahead and check out my Patreon if you haven't already. Okay, if you are ready and you want to watch the whole Chucky series with me, then I highly encourage you to check out the Patreon. I will be uploading it there before I even upload it onto YouTube and it's a little bit easier to watch it on Patreon I will say because YouTube isn't the best location for me to upload the Chucky series I'll just say if you've been on my channel before you know exactly what I mean by that so checking out the Patreon that's where I'm be uploading first all of my Chucky content when it first comes out I want to do it pretty soon I want to do every episode pretty much as soon as it comes out so we will see about that but other than that do you have any predictions any ideas any theories on what to expect for season three let me know I'm very interested I want to discuss and see what we can figure out together thank you for coming along with me on this journey make sure to like comment subscribe do all of that jazz and as always thanks for watching mm -hmm.